Hey everyone, and welcome back to another 3D Revolution. In this video, we're going to be having a quick look at Octoprint, which when you plug in a webcam, it defaults to 4x3 aspect ratio, even if the webcam is 16x9. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to make sure that Octoprint recognizes the correct aspect ratio of your camera. Let's have a look. Plugging in your nice new webcam into Octoprint and then seeing a 4x3 low resolution video come through isn't exactly what you'd be hoping for, especially if you're expecting to use the webcam for time lapses using something like Octolapse. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to make sure Octoprint recognizes the correct aspect ratio and resolution of your webcam. As standard, you'll probably find that your Octoprint setup is showing your webcam as a 4x3 aspect ratio with these horrible grey bars on the side because it's not showing the full image your camera is capturing. To fix this, shut down Octoprint, remove the micro SD card and insert it into your computer so you can look at the files. Once that's loaded, move down until you find the OctoPy text file and open it up in Notepad or Notepad++. Now go down to the configure which camera to use section and find the camera equals section which will be at the bottom. If there is a hash before it, make sure you delete the hash and then make sure that it says camera equals USB as is shown on my screen here. Then in the next section, additional options, go down to camera underscore USB underscore options and again remove the hash. After that, you'll find minus R and that is the resolution. So you need to put your resolution after minus R. And then there is minus F followed by a number, which is your frame rate. So get that all changed to what you need it to be for your camera and save and close. Now take the card out and put it back in your Octopi. Once it's loaded again, you should find that the camera is now showing in full 16 by nine aspect ratio. You might find that the quality isn't quite what you would hope. If you look in the video there, you can see that it's still quite pixelated and stuff, but I've got a video coming out soon showing you how you can use far better cameras using Octolapse. Hopefully your video has now gone from this to this and is gonna be much nicer to use. If you are planning on using your webcam for time lapses using something like Octolapse, do make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out because I've got a series of videos coming out on how to do time lapses using Octolapse and a variety of different camera and printer setups. So keep an eye out for them. I really hope you guys found that useful. Please do like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference to me. And you can now support me and my channel and get access to exclusive goodies via my Patreon account, which I'll link to in the description below. For now, why not check out my video on recommended plugins for Octoprint and my other video on other recommended plugins for Octoprint. Otherwise, happy printing guys and I'll see you guys next time.